Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I came with a problem on uh, electrostatics and waves combined. It is uh, from the capacitor and it is uh, from one of the All India Test series of Unacademy ULite. And uh, we will be solving this uh, problem by a method which normally students ignore or uh, uh, even though know that method but somehow in the exam hall, uh, you know, it doesn't click. So let's talk about uh, this problem and uh, by both the methods. So here you can see it's a very standard problem and a nice one. A dielectric slab is attached to a string of mass per unit length uh, mu and whose other end is fixed to a wall. Capacitor has a square plate of side B and separation between the plates is D. Find the fundamental frequency of vibration of the string and uh, dielectric slab remains in uh, equilibrium. Uh, so one thing which you have to see here is uh, by default we are going to deal with small amplitudes and uh, they could ask about uh, any harmonic or any overtone also instead of fundamental so accordingly that uh, data will change and these are the options given so it is connected to the battery so you can see here potential across the capacitor remains same and uh, due to this uh, attractive force uh, on dielectric uh, this string remains uh, under tension and a small oscillation uh, standing wave uh, pattern will be set up in this. So we have to find the fundamental uh, frequency of vibration of uh, the string. Now the standard method of this problem is, uh, let's say here, uh, just now I have told that uh, this F electric we can calculate by using F is equal to half DC by DX into V square and since slab remains in equilibrium so tension in the string will be equal to this Fe. So you can see here uh, this capacitor it will be uh, since it is a metallic plate it is a metallic plate we can see there is a air capacitor and there is a dielectric capacitor since potential difference across them is same they are in uh, parallel so directly I can write C is equal to C1 plus C2 and uh, this is the capacitance of air capacitor and this is for dielectric when I simplify this I am getting C here and I can write half uh, sorry DC by DX as K minus 1 B epsilon naught by D uh, this is uh, constant so I will recommend students to remember uh, this force expression or at least this so that quickly you can uh, solve this problem. It will be uh, for mains level, I feel this kind of problem will be a tough problem. Uh, but as uh, number of uh, problems are decreasing in mains, so I feel uh, such type of questions uh, can be a good candidate for uh, J mains type of exam. So from here tension is uh, known to you and a very nice concept uh, uh, in this problem is involved where waves and electrostatics are combined so now here you can say uh, for fundamental frequency this uh, distance between the two nodes which is l it will become lambda by 2 so lambda by 2 must be equal to l and velocity of uh, wave here will be root t by mu and frequency will be v by lambda this is for a fundamental uh, tone so when i substitute these values i am getting this uh, f as uh, 1 by 2 lk minus 1 b epsilon or v square by 2 d mu so if you check here answer is uh, d part for this now if you see this uh, question uh, carefully i'll just uh, brief you about the second method so you can see by careful observation we can see the options having different dimensions therefore we can solve this problem within few seconds using dimensions of the options now such problems have come very frequently in JA mains as well as in JA advance. So I'll recommend students to keep that in mind and uh, while uh, solving problems just have a look at the four options given and uh, for this particular problem if you see the four options uh, we know root t by mu kind of thing will come. So this mu is coming in the numerator. So straight away I can say at least a and b cannot be my answers. All right then you will have uh, this expression and this expression c and d they are having different uh, dimensions again in fact all a b c d they are having different dimensions so it, such kind of problems become very easy to handle now we need to just check the value of force and we can just uh, directly come to this uh, final answer of this problem as d part 
I'll suggest normally we recommend students to remember this uh, expression at least DC by DX it's a very easy standard problem so you can see how easily you can solve this problem without spending much time and uh, if such problems are there and it is clicking to you definitely definitely it will give you a huge boost or advantage over others guys here uh, <coughs> the current offer of uh, 30% 33% off on your uh, ITJ subscription it is uh, it has been extended till March 6th and it is 2022 you can see uh, three months is at uh, 12,000 13,000 roughly and this is a six month subscription so 33 and 22 per 28 percent off so you can use my code nitin sir if you want to connect with me on uh, an academy all right and about this light subscription uh, so here you can uh, access the test series for practice and uh, you will have a lot of practice problems and it is uh, it is very very cheap it is very very cheap it is just uh, 200 to 33 per month so you can uh, just check this uh, unacademy light ulite uh, subscription and uh, unacademy all india online test series for j 2022 that also you can check on website so that's it guys in this video i hope uh, you'll keep this dimensional analysis method in uh, mind and uh, hopefully you'll be lucky enough to take lead of uh, you know lead of uh, that time uh, using this method in uh, j paper let's hope one one or two problems you can find in paper so thanks for watching it thank you